Alright, so we're out here at the farm. Little car. And uh, take you around and show you what kind of projects we got going on around here. Old International. Another, we got a, the Case Diesel. And we got Libby chasing some kitties. So yeah, uh, the other night I showed you the studs, that's over there. And uh, it's daylight okay, out, so, so we're out here at the at Dakota. Dakota. Well, maybe chase some more kitties. So yeah, there she is. Pretty clean little truck. She's got a dead battery right now. But yeah, take you inside here. Pretty clean inside. Nice leather little seat. Basic floors. Uh, this little piece here is gone. You know, for all under there. But put a radio in it. I got a cup holder. Oh, that's pretty nice. My F-150 only got one of them. So yeah, she's got a uh, 128,000 miles on her. Look at that. Pretty nice. Here's the new headliner. Oops. Here's the back inside there. Alright, so here's the motor. A little V6 on it. Uh, I think they unhooked the power steering. That was one of the things I had to fix with it, but still drivable. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Not bad. It's an 88, so, you know. I have to uh, either check my alternator there or my battery. Because uh, when we do get it running, she doesn't like to stay running, so. Maybe uh, leave me a comment or whatever if you have a little more experience with Dodges. I'm more of a Ford guy myself. But, so yeah. That's pretty much what we got going on for now. And, uh, take you inside and we need to dig out these air horns. I got, actually got right the tank here, over we got this the tank one. over here. And there. Yeah, nice little tank. A gauge on it goes up to 160, I think. Yeah, so yeah, right now I just got it hooked up with this tire valve and I just punched some air in it and used the horns that way. But uh, we need to wire up a compressor, so still looking for one of them now. That little dog, she got a hay bale dropped on her earlier today from out of the barn. I think it just kind of bounced off her though, didn't really hurt her. There we go. In the shop here. It's kind of messy right now. Winter months, it gets a little messy. <clears throat> I don't clean up as much as we probably should, but yeah, whatever. So let's go take a look real quick. This is my old tractor. It's a 1958 wheel horse. It's buried right now. Let's see if we can't get a look at her. Yeah. Front end. A little motor sitting back in there. See if I can't turn the light on.
All right, so uh, we got that little thing on the back there, the trailer hitch, and uh, that moves up and down. So that's pretty cool. It's uh, yeah, operatable. So it only moves if you got weight on it. So here, a little brake head. elevator type deal laying around here somewhere and I was gonna put it on there but uh I think I ended up taking it apart I'm not sure it was over here last time maybe maybe the boss took it and moved it out of here you know the king of this place I don't know where it's at but anyways so yeah um, oh yeah the air horns let's get down they were in here yeah there they are look at that Nice set of air horns. Yeah, look at that. Got a nice little, nice little valve here. You get that. And that lets the air in on it. Nice double trumpet type deal there. Yeah, well, hook them up to the compressor over there. Give it, give it a little blast. That's pretty neat, huh? That's kind of loud, huh? Yeah. Hey, that sounds pretty nice on the F-150. Boy, Libby, do you not like that? Huh? Did it scare your puppy? Almost there. Yeah. That right there. They're about there. So I did a couple donuts with the Monte Carlo. Got my ass chewed up for that one. So here, we've arrived at the Redneck Yacht. There she is. All pretty paintballed green. Yes, sir. We play target practice once in a while with that. Yeah, but check this sweet thing out, man. Friggin' it's got its own workbench in it. A couple friggin' bikes if you want to stop and go riding. Sweet steering wheel. Take a look inside. That's just a closet. Friggin' look inside here. Nice, luxurious sleeping bed area then if we Here's go to the other side of it it's a skagit skagit i guess so bayline or bow yeah so uh we can take a peek inside here in there there's our sink and our stove it's well ventilated. And then, uh, it's a sleeping area over there. So, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Make sure you got your tie down so it don't float away. You know, we like to keep her dry docked in the winter months. And, uh, so, yeah. That's a freaking redneck yacht. Sweet, huh? Maybe this summer we'll get her out, take her for a ride. 